Okay, we're back to there. What we're going to do, some of these do come with nice printers. And if you want to document it, rather than trying to write it all down when you're working, if you got a good scanner, it's nice to have a nice printer. Okay, so he wants to get right here at about 130 degrees. When he gets there, I'm going to put him put on the brake, drop it in overdrive, and he's going to go with a nice acceleration. Not heavy, heavy, but nice acceleration up to 55. You'll know the system's working when this turns on. So we'll watch the temperature first. Whoops. When this one turns on, then this will increase if the vacuum gets to the valve, and this will increase if the temperature is rising because the EGR is flowing. And if it's happy in the end, this will switch to complete. He's going to drop it in drive, and he's going to go for it. I'm going to turn the fan on just low for airflow. Okay, drop it in drive. Going up to 55. Okay, it's on. It's up. See if it's flowing. Got a more change than that. Flow. minutes go ahead and stop those wheels okay he's just gonna sit here predict exactly but EGR O2 and now we'll sit for the heater now if it doesn't go when we're ready to take off it'll take off when we accelerate well let's see if it tests right here while we're sitting here whoa I didn't try I didn't plan it that way just coincidental okay now here's what we're gonna do we're not gonna leave yet but I'm going to go back and we're going to look at the EVAP data now. This is where I have to jump around. It should have already pressure check checked the system. Should have already done its pressure checks. You'll learn more about that, that part later on. Here's what we're really looking at. There's our pressure in the tank. We're in a very, very slight pressure condition. Otherwise, we'd have a minus over here. We're putting hot fuel back there. Okay. The atmospheric pressure's coming in. That's normal. What we want to look at is right here. We want to look at the short-term fuel trim for both banks of the engine. Right now, notice, plus, minus, zero, 
right around the middle. When he goes to accelerate, when I'm done talking here, you're going to see these things start to jump out. Minus, minus, back to zero. That's going to be the purge going open up, letting the vapors flow, and then shutting it off to see if it seals. Then the computer knows the purge valves solenoid flowed, but it also shut off. So if it had a leak before, at least now I might be able to pinpoint it that if it wasn't shutting off, it still sees flow. Okay? So he's going to go back up to 55 here in a second. In the process, he's going to go run the cap monitor too in the end. So we're going up a second time. Go for it again. Just like we did before. Nice monitor acceleration. Two trip, he wouldn't know because he doesn't have a light. 